here is ours look at how cute this bathing suit is hey guys thanks for coming to hang out with me again today's your girl cassie simmer back with another video if this is your first time here comment down below i'm new second so personally welcome you if this isn't your first time comment down below i'm back so we can get this party started so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own custom swimsuits this is going to be a really fun tutorial so if you're ready let's hop on in so the programs that you're going to need today is sims 4 studio and some type of photo editor the ed editor that i'm going to be using today is gimp um which is right here um and then obviously just like the internet so first things first if you don't have these things go and get them because this is where i'm going to be starting it's not really a tutorial on how to install these things it's basically just make sure you have these programs they're pretty easy to install you're going to want to put your creator name here you can put anything you want here and then you can um go into cast so today we're going to be focusing on how to make your own custom swimsuit. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the swimsuit that I want to edit. Alright, so I'm going to do this bathing suit right here. Now this technique that I'm going to show you today, and you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to say new swim. Oops. New swim suit. Alright, so... Comment down below if you think I'm going too fast. I'm trying to slow down. Um, so basically, this is the screen you're going to come to where it says Studio and Warehouse. You're going to want to stay in Studio. It's going to say Texture, Meshes, and Category. Add Swatches, Remove Swatch. We're going to add a couple swatches just in case. Um, and then it's going to say down here, Diffuse, Shadow, Specular, Normal, or Mission. We want to keep it on diffuse and then what we're going to put is export. So this is what you want to press right here, export. And then just to keep everything uniform, I'm going to put new swimsuit again. Since it's a different file type, it's not going to override the other one. And now that I have this PNG file right here that I just exported, this is what I want to edit. And I'm going to say open with GIMP. All right, so here we have this bathing suit swatch. This is how it looks when it's laid out flat and ready to be edited. That's gonna take us to our next step. Um, if this is your first time using GIMP or your photo editor, I would definitely become familiar with like your tools. All right, so yeah, I would become familiar with your tools this is the rectangular select tool um free select tool select by color tool crop tool uh i think it's transform yep transform tool so the ones that we're going to be using today is pretty much just rectangle select tool we may not even use that one paintbrush tool really um copy and edit so i'll show you guys what to do after that the next thing you're going to want to do is go to fabric.com. I love this website because you literally have access to like so many fabrics, you know, that you can pretty much use in your Sims and not have to buy it, obviously, because you're not really using real fabric. But if you want it to look as realistic as possible, I wouldn't just use regular patterns. I would use actual fabric patterns. Um... So I usually shop by um, theme and pattern. You can shop by color, you can do fabric type, stuff like that. But um, today I'm going to be using fabric type. So maybe we'll do some like animal print. These are kind of cute. Um, hmm. Let's see what else they have here. I like retro. I love retro. I like patterns that repeat themselves a lot because it's easier to to like put everywhere on the bathing suit, if that makes sense, without having to you know pay too much attention so you're going to click on it because you want the pattern to be as big and clear as possible and from there what i'm going to use 
is my snipping tool. As you can see, I've already done this with a, a similar pattern. And then with my snipping tool, I'm just gonna take the entirety of that swatch and then I'm gonna save it. And then I'm just gonna press save into my folder. I would save like a folder just for your fabrics. And then I'm gonna go back to my GIMP and I'm gonna say open and I'm going to find that fabric. So whatever you save it to, I have a custom content. And then I'm gonna find that fabric and then I'm gonna open it. As you can see, it's opened in kind of like another like little window here. So what I'm gonna do next is um, take my take my transform tool. I'm going to select pretty much the entire thing. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna edit and copy. And what's gonna happen is when I click back over here to my bathing suit, I'm gonna click on paintbrush, click on paintbrush, and as you can see right here in my paintbrush tool, it's already in my clipboard image. So now all I have to do is click lock alpha channel because what I what's going to happen if I don't click lock alpha, alpha channel is this it's going to cover everything including this transparent background and that's not what we want we only want it to cover the bathing suit so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to click lock alpha channel like so so this time when I click it I can put it right directly onto the bathing suit and I'm going to cover this little patch here too i'm really not sure how that plays a part in the bathing suit but i'm sure it does and i always cover it so you should be fine so i'm just going to cover that just like so like that um so you can do it however you want like you can see how the pattern is showing up differently depending on like how i click it and you know stuff like that so whichever one you feel like looks the best for like the front i like that of your bathing suit and honestly if you can try to cover the entire thing it's going to be so much better because you're going to have less that you have to um kind of fix yeah i kind of like that i like that okay so once you're done doing that you're going to press file export as and then new swimsuit is going to be png you're going to say export and you can say yes replace that's fine export we're gonna do one more just so you guys can like really see um what pattern should i do next well i kind of like this one um hmm. polka dot one is cute oh i like this one this yellow one yeah you want to do as much like repetitive patterns as possible these are the easiest ones that actually look flawless in the game you don't want anything to look like too fake you want it to blend really nicely in your game again i'm just gonna open i'm gonna grab it open it's gonna show up in this window here transform grab it edit copy Go back over here, click my paintbrush. All right, so here we go again. We're just gonna go ahead and staple that right onto the bathing suit. This one is pretty much uniform the whole way around, so I'm not really gonna stress it. So since this is a different swatch, I'm gonna say new swimsuit one and then export. export and there we go so now i'm going to go back to my sims 4 studio and as you can see like i said i already laid out a few of my swatches so i'm going to press import and then i'm going to find the pattern that i know i just did for new swimsuit these are the other swimsuits that i did and then open them right up and as you can see here there's my swimsuit on the model don't worry about that gray undergarment thing she has on. Just 
Make sure that the swimsuit is fully covered. If not, go back into your photo editor and try it again. But other than that, you can just press your second swatch and once again, put it right in. That's the yellow one I had. And then I did make a couple other ones ahead of time that I'm gonna put in here as well that you guys can see swatch as you can see the color does not match them anymore so you can actually like change the swatch or what you can do is import um, like the actual picture that you used for your fabric so they can actually literally see um, the fabric that you used i believe let me we're gonna test that theory today <laughs> because i forget if that's actually how it works but we're gonna try it uh, and hopefully it will work instead of doing a color i mean you can do a color too because as you can see most of that bathing suit is black so you can just put black it's up to you i'm just showing you both ways that you can do it and that is kind of like that color, so I'll just leave that one. And then this, I believe, is this one. Nope, that's not that. Okay. And then, like, if you can find the color that matches the best, you can kind of go with that. But I don't think that color goes with that. <laughs> okay. So now you're going to, if you're happy with all your swatches, I'm not really crazy about this yellow one. But I'll still show you guys how it shows up in game, just so you guys can like learn from it. But I love these other patterns. They look like real bathing suits. Love them, love them, love them. So we're going to go ahead and press save. And it says your package has been saved. Let me tell you guys. So go back to where you first put it. This swimsuit dot package. This is what it just saved as. I know it's like not obvious because it just says your package has been saved and you're like, okay, where's my package? I don't know where it is. But that's the first thing that you did when you opened your um, Sims 4 Studio. When you press next, it made this package file. And remember when we named it New Swimsuit, this is what it is. And this is what you want to put into your Sims game. Mints, electronic arts, the Sims 4, mods, I'm just putting it anywhere because I'm going to take it out after anyway and fix it more. But um, just put it in and start your game. That's it. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have our Sim here. She's ready to try on some bathing suits. So this is the one that we took from The Sims to edit right here. And right here is ours. Look at how cute this bathing suit is. Like... Are you kidding me? Look how cute that is. It looks so good. I'm sorry, but it really does. But scratch what I said about um, the meshes because they're not showing up. The only thing that showed up was the actual color. So color match it as much as you can. Just put like a brown here. So this is the yellow one. I'm not feeling the yellow one as much, but honestly, it's really not that bad. It's giving like a real yellow moment here. I love the polka dots. But I just feel like it's not as like fabric looking as this one. Like this looks like a super real bathing suit. What did I just press? Okay. So here's the other one again. Love. It's giving like super classy, super modern, super chic. Like I just love this. Um, and then next is this black one. The musical notes. Love it. Very cute. And then again, here we have this pattern. I just love it. I love this pattern. I wish I can get in all the colors. So, and that was just super easy. Like, <laughs> literally got it from fabrics.com. So, if you have, like, a bunch of fabric websites, you can literally make so many bathing suits. Um, this may be going up on my Patreon, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, on how to make your own custom bathing suits. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Cassie crew. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!